hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see how to add buttons to fit the selection. So for example, if we select this range here, the button will just fit that, that range. As you see here, I have already added some, some buttons. The button one was exa exactly in cell B2, so just one cell. Button two was in the range D2 to F4. Uh, and bottom three was in, in B8 to F13 uh, and so on. So why is this interesting? So let me show you an example here. This is a timesheet application and we have here entries for each day of the week. And the users can add the time, but for a particular day, they may want to add several entries. So I have added here as an example, this split button. And, and we could add it to each um, each day, specifically in that location. So when we add the bottom uh, and we click it, it, it splits the rows and it adds programmatically another button to delete if we want to delete that row and, 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 and so on. So we can, like this, we can uh, add as many buttons as, as we want and we can delete also using the, the button. So, so that, that's just an example of a, an application of this method. Um, let me close that and go back to, to the page here, and we're gonna um, go to the Visual Basic Editor as, as usual and insert a module. And here's gonna be our macro that I'm gonna call add buttons. And the first thing we'll do is to declare some variables. We're gonna use a, a, range, var, a range object variable. Um, I'll call it RNG as a range. And we're gonna have BTN as, a, as an object, and that's gonna be the button. And then we're going to have coordinates or uh, for, the, for the position of the of the button. So we will have x uh, as an integer, y, um, h, and w. And those will be the four um, coordinates. Uh, and you'll see that in a moment. So um, now with um, we're going to set the RNG object variable to the to whatever the selection is, so whatever we have selected. And then um, we will now assign uh, each value to, to this variable. So x is gonna be, um, it's gonna be the, the horizontal position. So that's gonna be the, the range that we selected dot left. So we are using here uh, some positioning properties. Um, now y is gonna be the, the range dot top. So it's gonna be the vertical position, right? So for example, for A1, that would be this point over here. The top would be just the top of the worksheet and the left would be same, same yeah, the left of the worksheet. And, and then we're gonna have uh, W, which is the width of the, of the range. Okay, and then finally H, which is gonna be the height of the range. And now we can um, add the bottom and, and let me do it. Let, let's, let's set it to this variable. And, and then with the active, um, uh, active sheet, we use the buttons add method to add the button, uh, the button uh, in, the, in those exact um, coordinates that we just had there and height. And now we're gonna assign um, a macro to the bottom. So using on action, and here we will write the, um, the bottom macro. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it BTN macro. Okay, so whenever we click the bottom, it's gonna run this other um, macro down here. And for example, it's gonna display uh, a message box saying, saying you pressed the button. Okay, so let's run it and see how it works. So let me select, for example, we're gonna add now a button, uh, a button here. And now we can run it. And see the button five is here. And if we press the button, it says you press the button. So that's how we add buttons fitting a selection in the worksheet in Excel using the VVA macros. Thanks for watching.